Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today I have come up with a uh, trick which can be used in a wide range of problems uh, where a complicated problem we can convert this into a simple pendulum and we can write the time period and uh, angular frequency in SHMs. So let's discuss uh, this concept here. This is the problem uh, statement and before I begin this uh, I will uh, ask you to recall in uh, in the channel uh, shm playlist you will find many more complicated uh, situation where i have used simple pendulum trick in order to solve those problems so what my request uh, to you will be you can convert uh, you know you can go through those problems and uh, uh, learn this uh, conversion of uh, simple pendulum in a wide range of problems which will uh, make the problems just one liner so let's discuss this particular problem here Two point masses M1 and M2 are connected to each other by a massless and inextensible string of length L. Mass M1 is restricted to move along a smooth horizontal rod as shown in the figure. All surfaces are smooth and uh, you have to find the angular frequency of small oscillation. So here, first thing when we simplify this and uh, uh, let's analyze the situation at any general location. So whether this uh, mass M2 is going this side or this side. Now it has to move in uh, such a way that its center of mass uh, cannot move in uh, horizontal direction. The reason for this is uh, because if you see, th see the FBD at any time t, here normal reaction will be upward, weight downward, here M2G downward and this tension becomes internal force of the thread for the system of M1 and M2 combined. So t you cannot see, what you will see is normal reaction M1G and M2. These are the external forces acting on the system and uh, you can say the net force is acting <clears throat> only in vertical direction therefore in horizontal direction uh, the net force is zero therefore center of mass will have uh, zero acceleration in horizontal direction now if center of mass is not moving we can just uh, say that this is not moving at all and the remaining oscillation is uh, something like what we see in uh, simple pendulum so this part will become just a simple pendulum of length this much this let's call this as l effective and this is if this is l effective we can calculate this l effective and uh, directly i can write here <coughs> the time period of oscillation will be 2 pi and root of l effective by g how do we calculate this since this is the overall center of mass here mass m1 is there and here mass m2 is there i'm calling this distance as l effective so remaining will become l minus l effective m1 r1 is equal to m2 r2 m1 r1 is equal to m2 r2 so if i simplify i'll be getting this l effective as m1 l by m1 plus m2 when i substitute this value omega can be calculated very easily and uh, this is going to be the answer for this now I'll request you to solve this question by traditional method and uh, then you can see uh, how much difference it will create and how much time it can it can save for you. Guys, this is about an academy scholarship test. So if you haven't uh, enrolled for this, it's my request. Please fill that and uh, uh, you can win up to 100% scholarship and uh, Few toppers will get uh, access to a special rankers group where uh, uh, they will be provided with the excellent academic input and uh, again uh, some people will have a chance to win the trip to Eurospace Center and the test date please don't forget this 8th October and 15th of uh, October and more than 2.5 lakh students have uh, filled this uh, registered for this unset and uh, you can use my code Nitin sir in order to register for it and another thing is this uh, compete this is one of the brilliant feature i will say in uh, unacademy it is launching on 3rd of october you can uh, challenge your uh, friends for one to one uh, duel in uh, problem solving so where uh, you can give the problem to somebody and uh, they will solve similarly they can challenge you with a problem and uh, participate and uh, you can see uh, you can find out where you stand in terms of uh, skills and you can uh, win a laptop and uh, prizes up to something is wrong yeah you can win a laptop and prizes up to two lakhs so that's it guys in this video i hope uh, you have learned this trick and it's a very useful trick 
I'll be making some more uh, <coughs> trick videos where uh, which can enhance your problem solving. So that's it for now. Thank you.